Hey guys, it's Matt. Today, we're gonna to talk about another piece from the animated statues line. This is Superman from Sideshow Collectibles. All right, first we're gonna talk about the box that Superman comes in. We've got this pretty standard Sideshow Collectibles box with the Superman artwork on the front. Now this one follows a similar theme that the Batman statue follows, and we've got this graphical representation of Metropolis in the background and the large classic Superman font across the top. We've got the statue itself pictured right in the center, and there's really not much stylization going on here because the statue itself is pretty heavily stylized. I like the way this is put together, and it makes for a very appealing, if somewhat standard, graphic design piece. This treatment of Metropolis goes all the way around. We've got the red and blue for Superman, and another view of Superman on the back, with Sideshow.com on the bottom, and the large house of L symbol behind Superman there. And on the side, it does denote that this is the animated series collection. Now, these boxes are all numbered matched. So on the bottom here, we have uh, the number of this statue, which is number 51 of 500. And then on the top, you have the Superman S right there. If I were gonna display this box, I'd probably pick the back here. I really like the way that this looks with the Superman statue silhouetted in front of the S. But there you go, there's the box. Next, we're gonna start with the base. Now, among the animated series statues, this is actually one of my favorite bases. We've got the top of the Daily Planet in Metropolis here, and a cloud of dust coming off the back from Superman taking off. This cloud of dust here is actually made of a semi-translucent uh, resin that has been airbrushed with all these shades in here. So we've got a lot of dimension in this cloud on top of the Daily Planet here. One thing that's kind of interesting is the, the Daily Planet is kicked off to the, it's like slanted. So I don't know if this would be the top of the building like this, and he's taken off that way, or if it's like the top of the Daily Planet's globe. But either way, it's very stylized and I like it a lot. On the bottom here, you actually have a full color placard on the bottom here with Superman flying off into the distance. I thought this was a really neat choice here. We've got the back of Superman flying away. Got your classic Superman script here, Metropolis. And again, the number 51 of 500 and your logos and copyright information here on the bottom. Next, we're gonna go ahead and place Superman's body here. Now, this has a large key and a rod that goes all the way up his leg here. Gives a lot of support to this dynamic pose. This key is a long piece and it's rectangular and it slots right into here. And it's a little tricky to get in, so be very careful and get the right angle. Once it's in there, it's very solid. Next, we'll add his right and his left fists. One thing I wouldn't have mind having is if they had included a blade in hand, but that's just a slight personal preference. Usually in the animated series, he was flying with his fists like this. All right, to finish off the base, we're going to add these three newspapers that are flying off from behind here. These were a little tricky for me to figure out where they go. So I've got them here. You've got Lex Luthor on, if you're looking at Superman, it's gonna be on your right and there's slots in the back here where those go. In the center, you have the Supergirl one, and that goes, there's an indentation on the center of the paper here, and that goes right here. And they just kind of sit in this dust cloud like that. And then on what would be Superman's left, you have the last one, which is the Dash for Cash, Superman versus the Flash. And there, there is a slightly flat spot in each of these newspapers, it'll show you where it goes in a dust cloud. And there you go, that's what the Superman base looks like with all of the posters put in place here. All right, lastly, we have the heads. Now this is the exclusive version of this statue, so it does come with two portraits. The uh, differences in these two portraits are subtle, but they are there. The collector's edition has this stoic, kind of serious face, looking straight ahead down his fist. And then the exclusive version has a little smirk, and he would be looking more at the camera right now. So you can kind of put him off. He's kind of smirking at the audience, if you were. And uh, this one is looking off into the distance like that. I don't really know which one of these I greatly prefer. Um, if I'm honest, I don't have a huge preference for these uh, one over the other because they are so similar. So this one's fun to put in there because he's looking out at your, if you have him on a shelf like this, he's looking out at your audience but I do tend to keep this one on more, I don't know. I switch them out about every month and that's a lot of fun to do with these exclusive pieces. 
Now let's take a minute to talk about my impressions of this statue and kind of the animated series all together. The uh, animated statue line is really unique in that it includes Superman, it's got Wonder Woman, it's got Batman, it's got Joker, and Harley Quinn. And they're all in fifth scale roughly, they're a little bit smaller than your premium formats, and they're all fully sculpted. They have this really great animated quality to them where they're very detailed, they're very dimensional, they're deep, but they still look like a cartoon come to life. They're about the most perfect rendition of a animated maquette that I have seen, and that's one of the reasons I absolutely love them. One of the things that got me into statues in the first place was my love of animation and uh, film and the maquettes that they would use for study and for artists to look at, and these are just perfect representations of that art form. Now, this Superman piece has really clean lines all through here. This blue is not just a flat blue, they're shading all throughout that subtly brings out these muscles. The yellow and the red all have dimensionality on them. There's some dark shading around the edges that just give you a little bit more depth than you normally would get if it were just flat paint. Now that's common for sideshow pieces, but on these animated pieces, it even stands out more and it helps them ride the line between reality and animation. That dimensionality continues all the way through to the base into this dust cloud and onto the base, it's base itself. So along all of these edges here, on this Art Deco design base, you've got these painted in shades that just really make it pop, and I really, really love it. The face in particular is painted very well in that it's very clean line. The eyes are very crisp. There's a lot of life to them. It's not just a white iris. I'm sorry, it's not just a white sclera with a blue iris and a black pupil. They're shading, there's gloss. The eyebrows are painted on absolutely perfectly. It's just the level of detail and quality does not stop because these are a quote unquote simpler rendition of these characters. Now, one of the most fun things to do with this animated statue line is to actually display them together. So I have the beginnings of my own animated Justice League here where I've got the classic animated Batman and then Superman to go with him. Now, when I was a kid, I watched the Batman cartoon religiously. I just, I watched every season. I absolutely loved it all the classic characters that it introduced. By the time we got around to the Avengers of Superman and then later the Justice League, I didn't watch as much of it. I was onto other things in high school, but I was very aware of it and I love that they continued the style. Now, I could get Wonder Woman to go with this, uh, this pair here, um, I may someday, but these guys have their own dedicated display space in my collection and they go together just perfectly. So even if you just have one, or two for the whole line of these animated figures, you really can't go wrong. I highly recommend them. One of the things I ask in my reviews is each one of these pieces a must buy. Um, in Batman, I said it was a must buy. If you're a fan of the character, the animated Batman is such a classic rendition of uh, such an influential time in Batman's history. So I really think this is a must buy. Superman, I do think it's a must buy if you're a fan of Superman because this pose and coming off the Daily Planet, you've got the newspapers in the back, it's just so iconic and everybody's going to recognize it and it's really a crowd pleaser. Um, but if there, there are a lot of other maybe more realistic or comic accurate Superman that I would maybe get first. But I'm a big fan of Superman so this was one that I had to have and I'm really glad that it's in my collection. Some of my favorite things are this cloud base the illusion of flight and just the basic strength in this pose and this sculpt all together. And um, I just think they go great together. So go ahead and jump on Sideshow, search up Superman Animated and uh, get one for yourself. Happy collecting. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.